Well, I uh, met the filmmakers, and uh, it was a very, very uh, important film. And um, you know, I mainly focus on uh, social films that uh, can make the world a better place or change policy. And um, when it was clear that we wanted to have a, a song to help shepherd the audience back to uh, a comfort zone, I immediately thought of uh, Sting to collaborate with because uh, I felt his musicality and, and lyrics and uh, sensitivity to it would be perfect. I think James's story is a wonderful antidote to uh, a parody of manhood that, you know, that killed him in many ways. He's a great example of extreme courage. He's an extraordinary human being and I only got to know him through the film. I think it's a very important message, what real courage is, and James Foley represents that, and it's, it's a great testament to an extraordinary human being. So, uh, Josh showed me the movie, and I was deeply moved by it, and then he said, would you write a song? Or, or he had written a hymn, a musical hymn. He said, could you write a song over these chords? And I said, well, you know, let, let it marinate, and that night, I couldn't really sleep like this. The story it resonated so deeply with me. And we rather just had Thanksgiving, or we rather have Thanksgiving, and the film is as much about James's family as it is about him and his captivity. And I thought about you know, what, what would his family feel at Thanksgiving when he was clearly missing for a number of years. And so I came up with this concept of the empty chair. That the family would have an empty chair that represented James, and he would take comfort from the fact that they were missing him and he was missing them. And of course, uh, totally by accident, the concept of the empty chair is something a Jewish friend of mine said, well, that's the chair we leave for the prophet Elijah at Jewish festivities. I didn't know that, of course, I'm not Jewish, but I, I thought there was a resonance there that uh, in many ways James is a, a prophet. And I think his message is important right now for the world. I think it's a very, very important film. I, I wanted to deal with uh, the issues of family. What is, you know, I'm a parent myself. What it's like to have a child in danger, endangered. And that was really the, the thrust of it, the human connection that we all have with James Foley. Mm -hmm. He was a member of our family. And uh, when people see that, they'll, they will resonate with that. Mm -hmm. It was one of the, the first things when we started talking about what the lyrics could be about and uh, you know, thinking about what direction it could go in. It was very important, the first thing, to read the letter that he wrote to his family, um, to really feel that connection, you know, because that's the kind of last statement that he made. And, um, and then, you know, as, as he said, it, Sting really wanted it to be about um, them, mostly him, and mm -hmm. this universal, um, I guess, him, you know, to, mm -hmm. to help, help people you know, that are missing any, any loved one, which is pretty universal network specifically about it. Right. There's a couple of lines in the song that are taken directly from what people said about it. There's one line where it says, uh, I was always late for every meal, I swear. I said, I was complaining about this kid who never turned up on time. So uh, him, him being an empty chair was not unusual for them. But, uh, I, I think the song was written by the family in many ways, not just channel bits. Mm -hmm. We just do what feels instinctive and you know, try and be useful and coherent in a world that needs people to be useful and coherent. You know, there's too much noise in the world without any signal. So we, we try our best, I think. Yeah, I mean, you know, you're, you're here for such a short time. And so I, for me, I, you know, I feel it's so important to make people's lives uh, better and, and, and give them real you know, moments of truth and, and, and daring that, that can help them reevaluate the decisions they're making in their own lives. And, mm -hmm help connect with uh, other people on the planet because we're all related. These are things that, you know, me trying to do my part and bring incredible artists and work on songs that can help people relate and understand because these are pretty tough subjects to grasp and pretty, um, you know, they seem far from a lot of people. People don't relate and they think that it's, what can they do and you know, they, they, they can't change the world. But, this smallest kernel of an idea can change the world.